Welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is The Little Eye Who Lost His Dog, written by Kimberly Gard, illustrated by Sandy Song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The alarm clock rang to the alphabet song. Little Eye sat up, stretched, and rubbed his eyes. Last day of alphabet school! He saw his letter friends on the playground and hurried to join them. Little G gasped. Little P pointed. And little S stared. Little I, he said. Where's your dot? Little I looked up. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. But his dot was gone. What will you do without your dot? Little A asked. Little W whimpered. Little H handed her a hanky. All of the letters crowded around Little I. Don't worry, they said. We'll help you find a new dot. The school bell rang. It was time to make words. All the little letters scrambled into school. But Little I's friends didn't forget their plan. When they got to the classroom, the letters looked around. Little A asked how about this acorn. Little B burst forward with a balloon. Little C cried, try on this clock. Little D dashed over with the donut. Little E exclaimed, an egg is exactly what you need. Little F followed with a flower. Little G giggled when he found a gumball. Little H handed over a hula hoop. Little J joked, How about a jumping bean? Little K knew the answer. A kiwi! Little L lit the line with a light bulb. Little M made her way over with a marble. Little N nodded to a music note. Little O opted for an oyster shell. Little P presented a pretzel. Little Q questioned, how about this quarter? Little R raced over with a ring. Little S scared him with a spider. Little T thought thumbtack would do. Little U urged him to carry an umbrella. Little V ventured forward with a valentine. Little W walked over with a wheel. Little X's Extra special idea was a xylophone mallet. Little Y yelled, Wear this yo-yo! Little Z, always last, zoomed over with a zero. Little I tried them all on, but nothing felt right. When school ended, all the little letters went out to where their parents were gathered. Little I saw his father and sniffed back tears. I lost my dot. Capital I smiled. No, little I, you didn't lose your dot. You left it on your pillow this morning. I brought it along, but since today is the last day of school and you've grown up, I'm not sure you need it anymore. What do you think? Do you really think I'm ready to be a big I? Capital I nodded. Stretch out your arms and point out your feet. Little I did, and when he saw his shadow on the ground, he smiled. Dad, I look just like you. I can start a sentence now. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.